Today, on the 22nd of November, an unfortunate incident occurred at Mukro village in West Jenti Hills district, where six persons have died due to firing by Assam police and Assam forest guards. I would like to express my deepest condolences to the bereaved families who have lost their loved ones. As per the reports, a truck carrying timber was pursued by the forest, by the Assam forest guards with the Assam police and was detained by the Assam police and Assam forest guards at Mukro village in West Jente Hills district. On hearing this, people from Mukro village gathered in large numbers and surrounded the Assam police and Assam forest guards. This led to firing by the Assam police in which five persons from Meghalaya died, one person, one Assam forest guard also died due to the firing. The injured persons have been shifted to Boroto PHC and Yalong Civil Hospital. On hearing of the incident, the district magistrate, the superintendent of police and other magistrates rushed to the spot. Inquest has been conducted by the magistrate. The Honorable Home Minister, Government of Meghalaya, has also reached the spot of the incident. An FIR has been registered by the Meghalaya Police. The names of the deceased who died on the spot are number one, Thal Shada, male, 45 years. Number two, Nikashi Dhar, male, 65 years. Number three, Sik Talam, male, 55 years. And number four, one unknown male forest guard of the government of Assam. The names of those who succumbed to their injuries in the hospital are Number one, Tal Nartyam, male, 40 years, who died at Boroto. Number two, Chirup Sumer, male, 40, who died at Jawai. The state government strongly condemns the incident wherein the Assam police and Assam forest guards entered Meghalaya and resorted to unprovoked firing. Government of Meghalaya will take all steps possible to ensure that justice is done and action is taken against all those responsible for this inhuman act. As a mark of respect and mourning for the deceased, the state government has decided to cancel all official festivals, including the Cherry Blossom Festival. An ex gratia compensation of rupees 5 lakhs each to the next of kin of the deceased shall be released. The cabinet <coughs> will be meeting today in the evening at 5.30 to take and decide on the next course of action which the government of Meghalaya will take in respect to this particular incident that took place. At this point in time, I would like to appeal to all the citizens of the state to pray for the departed souls and especially for the families who have lost their loved ones. I would also like to appeal the citizens of the state 
to maintain peace and harmony in the state. The state government is taking all steps necessary to ensure that law and order is maintained in the state. We also would like to pray for all those families especially who have lost their loved ones and those whose family members have been injured in this incident. Just before this press conference, we have called different leaders from our traditional heads, Rambashnams, our religious leaders from different religious groups and different members of civil society and different NGOs to discuss, to appeal, to inform them and to ask them that we need to stand together in these difficult times as a state and as citizens. These are challenging times, but with society and with all of us being together, we will overcome this situation. And as I mentioned, the government of Meghalaya will be firm and will take necessary action, whatever that is required, to ensure that justice is done and those people who are responsible for this are action are taken against them. What is the demand from the Assam government following this incident? We are going to have a cabinet meeting in the evening. And uh, <coughs> different points are being discussed are going to be discussed in the cabinet meeting. We have already laid down four or five points, but uh, without taking a final call with the cabinet, uh, it will not be appropriate for me to spell out all those points. But I can tell you one thing, that uh, we will be going and meeting the Honorable Home Minister and uh, placing our demands and placing the necessary points that we have from our side uh, to the government of India for necessary action. Will you be calling out the second round of border talks following the incident? The talks, of course, the incident that happened is an incident that had not got a direct connection with the border talks as such. And obviously the border talks are very important for us. But given the current situation and the current time and this particular incident that happened, it has affected the overall situation. And hence, at this point in time, how things were in the past is not going to be the same. And therefore, we need the confidence building. What kind of actions will be taken as we move forward? What kind of different steps will be taken? And how we will be able to make sure that justice is done? All these will determine the future course of action. And hence, we expect that both government of India and government of Assam will take the necessary steps to ensure that justice is done. And based on those situations and those demands and those actions being taken, we will discuss and we will decide the further course of action. Can you tell us about the presence of our Meghalaya police personnel there? It appears as, were they there? There were, Meghalaya police was present out there, but the numbers were not as big as the Assam counterpart, because the situation was unexpected, we never expected the situation to be there. The recent uh, sanctioning of the Boroto uh, outpost, which has been done, was supposed to be inaugurated on 25th of this month, and uh, right before that, this incident has happened. And knowing the sensitivity of the location, we had sanctioned the Boroto outpost, uh, precisely because we knew that this kind of situations and tension is always there in that area. And uh, hence, uh, the numbers were lesser. And as I said, uh, this is completely unprovoked. And as I mentioned earlier, that uh, the Assam police were pursuing uh, some uh, trucks carrying timber. And uh, that pursuing led to them coming into Meghalaya, against which the public had reacted and uh, surrounded. And in large number, they had come out. And that's what led to this firing taking place. Can you tell us, Mukro, where does it stand? Is it disputed? Is it... Uh... Absolutely not. There is no dispute in the Mukro village. And uh, in fact, as I mentioned, the incident where it happened was very much within Megara. Sir, we can also tell us about 
tell us you met the traditional leaders and religious leaders earlier. What are meeting with Yeah, I just mentioned to you that uh, we had met them and we had appealed to them that uh, uh, that we need to work together in, over, in order to come overcome the situation. Uh, I shared with them the different steps that the government has taken and will be taking and uh, informed them about the incident and the details of the incident, whichever details we have till now. And uh, some very good and positive suggestions have come from their end. And most importantly, uh, all the members who are present out here from the religious groups, from the Rambashnons, and also from different civil society and NGOs, we have taken a resolution and an appeal, rather I should say, an appeal together, unitedly, appealing to everybody that we need to maintain peace and law and order in the state and that we should work together so that we can overcome the situation. Yes, I have spoken to uh, the Assam Chief Minister this morning and I briefed him about the incident. He is also aware about the incident and uh, our discussion was very brief and uh, he has uh, assured that whatever can be done from the Assam government side and whatever uh, cooperation is required for any kind of uh, steps to be taken or any kind of inquiry to be done that he will be there and he will support. Uh, regarding the inquiry, I don't want to discuss that immediately because it will be put up in the cabinet and uh, this evening we will share with you after the cabinet meeting approves the discussions that we have put on the paper and uh, put on the uh, agenda for the cabinet meeting. Uh, once we approve it, uh, I will be sharing that with you post the cabinet meeting today. Can you uh, please tell how many